<laughs> G'day, I'm Jake from Make Science Fun. Here's my helper Sam. Hi Sam. How are ya? Good. Thanks for joining us today. Now we've got our goggles on for a very special reason. We've got some dangerous chemicals here and we're going to be making some touch powder, otherwise known as pixie dust. Hey, that sounds exciting, doesn't it, Sam? Yeah, and lollies. Oh, and there's lollies. You're excited by them, aren't you? Sam loves lollies, especially Dutch ones. We've got some Dutch heritage, which we're quite proud of. I'm going to introduce these chemicals to you. Now, the first one is ammonia solution. It's very strong. Don't play with the matches. Oh, you can play with the matches. Ammonia solution. It's a very strong smelling chemical. Dad, can I like this? Later. It's so strong that it can like knock you out. I kid you not. In fact, whoa! Sam, can you smell that already? I'll waft it towards you. Whoa! It's strong! <laughs> Woo! In fact, I remember when I was in year, in year eight in high school, and the teacher, she had some ammonia in a beaker. And she said, now kids, you should always waft a chemical toward your nose like this, because if you, were to, if you were to breathe it directly like this, and she put her nose to it, and then she, she like conked out, she conked out on the, she collapsed backwards onto the floor. I kid you not. It was hilarious. Anyway, ammonia, very strong chemical. And I've got another really strong, dangerous chemical here. It's hydrochloric acid. I'll just put my goggles on. It's hydrochloric acid and it's a really strong, concentrated sample. Very bad. Now have a look at this, this is amazing though. The two chemicals give out vapors and you look what happens when those vapors come into contact. I'm not even touching them, but you look Sam, can you see the smoke? Yeah. Can you see the smoke? That is the two chemicals coming into contact with each other that's the two chemicals coming into contact with each other, forming ammonium chloride. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. They are. I can. They are actually reacting at a distance. But Sam, I tell you what. See if you can taste that smoke. See if you can lick it. Now, ammonium chloride is a salt. And you know what the amazing thing about ammonium chloride? Even though it comes from two very dangerous chemicals. And I've got some ammonium chloride here. Look at this, Sam. I've got it in a crystal form. Look at this. I've got a white powder here, Sam. That's the ammonium chloride here. The, the wonderful thing about chemistry is that you can have two very dangerous chemicals, yet they can react together to form. Look at this, Sam. Mmm. A delicious substance. This is a delicious salt. Oh, I love this salt. No. Oh. What kind now, of salt is it? You might be thinking, this guy's crazy. Well, I'm not crazy. I bought this especially for this demonstration today. It's pure. I know exactly what it is. So it's not dangerous. But don't do it at home, whatever you do. Okay? Because your sample might be corrupted or whatever. So ammonium chloride, also known as sal almaniac. Now, where might you find sal almaniac? I'll tell you. Ah. See these lollies? Sugar coated licorice. Gruten. Gruten from Holland. Sugar, glucose, fructose syrup, water, gelatine, starch, licorice extract, and ammonium chloride. They contain this ammonium chloride. Ah, you want some of this, eh? Yeah? Put your fingers in there, mate. Oh, we love these things. Mmm. You can. You can sort of taste a little bit of the ammonium chloride. It's like this zingy, this zingy salt. Much better than sodium chloride. I mean, this is table salt, sodium chloride. And this is another salt, ammonium chloride. They don't even have to be touching for that reaction to occur. But that smoke there, see that white smoke? That is sal almaniac. That is ammonium chloride. Isn't that amazing? Right? A element, and the element is iodine. It's a non-metallic element, and it's black, but it's shiny. It's a crystalline solid. Oh, good job, Sam. It's a very special element, 
because when you heat it, it turns straight into a gas and it's a purple gas. See that purple gas? Ooh, you can just see it coming off. To make our pixie dust or our touch powder, we need some iodine. A friend of mine when I was really young told me about how to make this stuff. And when I went to school and I asked my teacher if we could make it in chemistry. And Mrs. Rockwell, she said, oh, okay, you can make it. And so we added some ammonia, chemical reaction, like so. It's very, very strong. Don't lean over it, Sam. But a really strong smell comes off, doesn't it, Sam? Super strong, isn't it, mate? You okay? I don't like the smell. Sam doesn't like the smell. I'm not surprised. I don't like the smell either. And you get this, like, gooky, blacky stuff in the bottom. Anyway, we didn't think it was working. And so my friends and I went to lunch, and we put our dirty glassware in the sink. Anyway, the lab manager, when she started, like, moving the glassware around, it started exploding. <laughs> And so the teacher came and got us, and uh, we had some on this. We had some on this watch glass, and we all gathered around it. My friends will remember this. We had some of this black stuff on the watch glass, and we're all gathered around it, and we're going tick, 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 and it went boom. And anyway, <laughs> we're all like, whoa! So this touch powder that went, whoa, this touch powder that I'm going to make, just have to let it to dry. Actually making something called nitrogen triiodide. Nitrogen triiodide. Which actually sounds a whole lot like trinitrotoluene. Do you know what do you know what trinitrotoluene is, Sam? No. T and T. Do you know what TNT is? Dynamite! Got this black sludge on this watch glass. I've got a lump of this black tarry stuff. I'm gonna leave that to dry. Okay, Sam's pretty smart, he's taken off. Now, it's about an hour later. This stuff is so temperamental. I've made up some more, but like I'm seriously freaked out by it. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try and set some off. This is, now I know why this, now I know why it's not recommended. I'll just move that out. Ah, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> I hate this stuff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Touch powder. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared witless. You think I should get Sam Downey? I don't think you'll like it. <laughs> How about I go get Sam, eh? <laughs> there you go, Sam. Tap away, mate. Is Sam a brave boy? Mm. We can want to hear some more ticking. <laughs> Oh, that was a bit scary, wasn't it, Sam? Hey, right? Sammy, okay now? He was a bit scared. Hey, right? that was a big bang, though, wasn't it, Sam? Hey? Right? Oh, don't touch it with your finger. Some of these lumps are so sensitive, even alpha particles from radioactive decay will set them off. That's how sensitive they are. Even sometimes, like a feather, will set them off. Nitrogen triiodide, and what happens is it's such an unstable compound that it quickly pff, turns into nitrogen gas and iodine, and that's all that yellow that you see. Thanks for joining us today on Make Science Scary, hey? That was not very nice, was it, Sam? Hey? You gonna do, still do science with Daddy? Yeah? Okay, just put your glasses on while we're still at the chemicals, just in case. <laughs> see you later, everybody. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.